Hello. Hello. Welcome. You're bringing a large object in here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I brought these weird little animal things. Uh, I just brought them here to see if I could sell them. Oh. I, don't know. I think you guys will really like them. Though. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. That is unusual. What a pair those two make. They're so cute. It's quite oh. gruesome, which yeah. I like. Gruesome yeah. means beautiful to me. Where did you get this? I bought them in Wisconsin, and uh, I thought I could use them for some of the performances I do. My name is Carla Milugo. I'm a street performer here in San Francisco. I juggle and sing, play accordion, whistle. A ton of performers coming into Love to Death, and you never know what's going to be more interesting, their acts or what they're here to sell. Do you know how these were processed? Um, no, the guy that I bought them off of said they were petrified. I would definitely say they're not petrified. Uh, the dryness makes me think that this is mummified. Petrification is when all the organic material has been replaced by minerals through fossilization, creating a stone-like appearance. Mummification is when all the moisture is removed from the tissue, but the tissue remains. I see fur here and different skin tissue, and that's kind of what makes it a little troublesome for me, because in the state of California, I can uh, buy and sell something that is petrified, but mummified items, there's so many different laws that this would make it a lot trickier. I'm a little shocked to find that they might be mummified instead of petrified and that it might be illegal. If you have a few moments of time, could you go with me and we could have it checked out? Yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. I need to be 100% sure. So I'm gonna take this piece to a taxidermist so he could tell me what it is, make sure it's safe to buy.